Hi, uh, Daniel here again. Uh, welcome to our second videos of our tutorial video series. Uh, in these videos, uh, I will be focused uh, very much on how you how you can utilize our AI assistant um, to the workflows in which you try to build your outline. So um, the AI integrations uh, that we've started building in the last six months, uh, when it comes to AI integration, we focus on helping utilize all the application of OpenAI, all the templates that are given, uh, and build that into a design, uh, in a, so we could design in a way that could integrate with fluently with your workflows. So the first workflows, uh, the AI are very, very well applicable of is uh, when you start building your outlines. In building your outlines, um, sometimes you don't have an idea of what you want to write. Sometimes you would like to explore different copywriting format. Sometimes you like a certain ideas your computer or you have, and you want to expand that idea. Um, you just need to ask the AI to kind of give you different ideas. Sometimes you've got a writer blocks uh, when it comes to how to craft your titles, and you need uh, some sort of inspirations, you know, or ideas, or, or, or whatever it is that helps you to build a better outline. Uh, in order for you to build a good outline, first it has to be SEO optimized. So SEO optimizes a lot easier when you are able to access the content structure of each of the competitor here. And from there, you kind of see how all the top ranking uh, competitors uh, organize their content. What are their headings like? How do they organize their paragraphs? So on and so forth. Uh, but when it comes to the ideas between the outlines, um, you will need the help of our uh, AI integration. So with that uh, in place, uh, I'm go, I will go straight into how you can utilize our AI system. So as you can see here in this screen, you will see the AI system, AI system panels uh, is, is uh, uh, placed uh, below the screen. And at any given moment, you could just simply turn that on. And when you turn that on, the new uh, screen, the new panel will be open right next to the outline. So the way we design is, Everything that on the right is the result of your research, right? So um, this is the outline that you'd like to build. And this is where you explore different ideas, different things, different place, um, so that you can give you the ideas. So in this playground, so we call it playground. So in the AI system playground, you will see that we break our templates. We have about, I think, 20 plus templates um, that are utilized in this. The total templates we have is about 60 plus. But uh, we, we, we pick out only templates that we know will help you in building outlines and put it right over here. Uh, so you can see that these are templates that will break down to two different categories. The first is outlines. These are all the templates that helped you with building your outlines. Uh, and the second one is the type template we call rewrite. So rewrites are templates that, for example, help you uh, explain it to a child. So turn the content in which other people wrote maybe a bit too complicated for you and you think that maybe your users will need something a uh, little bit more simple simple sounding, you can use this template to kind of rewrite and then put that into your outline. Second is text rewriter. So there's passage that you like from your computer and you would like to have that in your outline, but you don't want it to be something that plagiarize. So you can rewrite that and put that under your outline as well. Remember, these outlines will also be used later on in set three. And from there, we have a bunch of different templates that actually help you expand on the idea of this outline, help you kind of build from this uh, outline bullet points into a, a full paragraph. Uh, but that is going to be in the next videos where I focus more on how the integration of with AI, uh, with our AI system in step three content writing. So come back to the, te the, the categories of outline template. You'll see that we also break down again in the three, four type, one, two, three, four types of different templates. The first is orienting by. The orienting by is essentially our templates that you use when even before you start um, your writing process. This is where you want to orient your content into what type of direction. So uh, at the moment, we have three templates but we are continue, will continue to add on more and more templates later on. These are the templates that help you kind of determine the way you will write uh, your copywriting formula. So we give you a few copywriting formula like attention, interest, desire, action, uh, before, after, bridge, problem, agitate, uh, solution. Right? Um, the next one is topic two. So topic two essentially is if you have a topic 
So say you have a headings uh, or any con piece of content you like from your competitor or from Google Suggest Insight, and you would like to turn that topic into, for example, if it's a question, you can turn that into a bullet point answers. For example, if, if uh, you want to turn that topic into a list of questions, so um, you could provide answer for that. So a lot of time, uh, for example, you have a very general topic like nutrition plan. First step would be turn that into a list of questions. And then you use a template question to bullet point answer to expand on those questions. So eventually you will have um, a, a format of article that are very knowledge based, that based on question answer format, right? Or you can expand the topic to ideas, uh, analogy, outline, uh, talk track. You can explore yourself. Uh, we designed in that we call it playground because you really could just keep on exploring and play around with these templates. Third is paragraph two. So if you have a paragraph and you would like to turn that paragraph into a certain uh, type of content, for example, uh, a questions list. So you have a paragraph about nutrition plan um, and you and you would like to turn that paragraph into a question answer type. So you will start by turning that, let, let the AI scan through the, that content and turn that piece of paragraph into a list of questions. Second, paragraph to topic, paragraph to outlines, and paragraph to different takeaway, right? Um, this one will really depend on how you would like to utilize uh, our, our AI to turn that into uh, the actual content. And finally, it's called uh, also another type of orienting by, and that is feature benefits, how to step list, pros and cons, and unique value proposition. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Whatever it is, um, it's all the type of template that very focus on the fact that would help you to build a great outline. Right? So uh, please do keep that in mind. Uh, so as you as you see it's from here, now let's uh, let's start with any outline. So we could uh, perhaps uh, we can start with questions. So for example, let's um, with uh, with a playground here, uh, when you click on a certain uh, template, it will bring you to the action pan panel. And from the action panel, you'll see that you can access all the template by clicking on this button. And from here, you are also able to access all of the other templates that have been here. Uh, we have an instruction, very simple. Our AI system will generate a question about topic. Input is enter the topic you want a question for. Uh, creativity essentially is um, you, I mean, I'm sure you have used other AI uh, topic uh, AI AI tool and what it is is that it will help you to the higher values of uh, creativity it will actually give you more diverse uh, type of results right um, so let's say nutrition plan for athlete something like this right this is the topic and I would like to have questions so over here below once I choose you can just scroll up I usually just put at one in the beginning to see what AI will actually generate as closest to the meaning of the topic. Uh, and this is a maximum variant. So this is the number of variants in which you want the AI to provide. Um, from here, maximum means that sometimes uh, the AI will only find enough data to provide you with two variants. But maximum, it will give you as three. So anything less than three. Okay, so just click simply click generate. Uh, and from there, as you can see, it's turned out into a list of question. Can I lose weight on my own? What are the best food to eat for an athlete? What is the best diet to follow for an athlete? If you don't like any of this, you can actually generate more ideas. And keep in mind, this is ideas. It's not about expanding on those ideas. So a lot of these ideas and questions are shorter form uh, with fewer words. Uh, what are the best food to eat when you're exercising? What a good diet for athlete? What's the best diet for athlete? Um, you can generate more because since you know it's only a small amount of words, you can just keep generating until you find a few ideas that you really like. And during this process, some ideas you thought, no, nah, it's not very good. You could actually delete them. So you click on delete. Our well, best would eat athlete. You know, this one is rep, uh, replicate. You can just delete that one. Um, my type of food, you know, my own health. That's pretty good. Diet for as an athlete. That's pretty good. What type of food should I be eating? This one too general. Um, so as you delete, all your delete options will be actually safe underneath so that at any given point, you could go back and you find, hey, you know what? I want to explore again what I delete and see whether it's something that I want to uh, return. So you can just simply click return and it will go back to exactly where it was before. Um, you can close it. 
uh, you can delete it and let's say these are few options which I quite like um, okay you know what I will add this one so anything you like simply click add it on to your outlines and again as you hover into the add button you'll see that whatever you chose there will be a green the blue light appear right beneath uh, the, the outlines so that it will highlight for you where this will be added so I like this one I like this one then simply select shift all of this and then turn that into bullet point for example like okay here we go now I have a list of questions on the topic and then you can just simply go into uh, uh, like for example these are questions so you could even click the button the AI button on the top right here and from here also you are able to access our AI assistant panel uh, and from here let's say you want to you know what I want to make this into a bullet point answer I like to see what would point answer what's the best diet to flow for an athlete. Click enter, get a lot of fruits and vegetables, one of the best diet in high protein have a diet, eat meat. You know what? That's great. I will add them in here. Okay, select this, put that into bullet, turn this into H3. This one should be delete. There we go. Right away you have uh, uh, an outline and uh, four questions very quickly AI will be able to generate and if you don't like any of option again click on generate more ideas and the AI will provide you with a bunch of different ideas you can increase the variance we set the maximum right now at five or you can decrease the maximum as minimum at one all right so very simple very easy real any things here you can also hover and you will be able to access our AI right directly from there either being outlined uh, let's say outline let's say intermediate fasting and you would like to uh, orient it by feature benefits and uh, uh and you click generate it will give you a bunch of different ideas as well help you to lose weight that's the first features uh stop eating as your body produces energy uh intermediate fasting or intermediate type of diet which you restrict your food intake for certain hours of time so it's one day or eight days that's great so it gives you more and more ideas and you just keep simply click on and play around with it you know, we design in a way that to help you to just explore, um, explore our AI, right? Um, the other really cool thing um, you can see here is that we have another tab on the top called history. And history essentially is everything that was created by you, right? So in the step one, we have one box of history and that would be whatever you created today, yesterday, um, I think by seven days, we'll put on a date. So let's say today, you click on it and you'll see all of the past history output that you have. This way, we designed it so that you are in complete, 100% control of everything that you use and your usage, as well as you want to make sure you don't fall into the trap of asking what if. So not only you are able to access all the history, you'll be able to access also the delete folder of that history. So that at any given point, you can come back here, you explore more uh, and you play around with it. Let's say you don't finish the work today. The next day you come back, it's still there, right? So, so this is accessibility, right? Our AI are built so that you can access from multiple touch points, either from directly from uh, your uh, competitor or from Google Suggest, or it should be vertically throughout the timeline of your workflow. Um, you can access it in history. So access it from anywhere, anytime you would like to see, right? Um, I'll come back in here a little bit before I go into the three panel mode, so, right? Um, uh, this one, if you click on edit, as you can see here, you'll be able to see the title, the title and the description have a little button on the next to it. And it's our AI generator, our AI assistant as well. So what it is, is that we have touched our AI Let's say if you don't have the title, you cannot generate the description. So the AI will actually help you generate more title. And the way it does is that the AI will go in here, uh, take on the, <clears throat> using this as the prompt, using the keyword, the main keyword, as well as they scan through the entire topic and, and content of all the top 20 competitors to generate a title that is the closest and most relevant to what you need in here, right? So that's, now it is, one is, <clears throat> sorry, you can click save. So this, the, the second thing uh, when it comes to accessibility is we create this not only a two panel work, but 
you can actually do a three panel work. Three panel work is where you can click on SERPs view in the bottom and you'll be able to see all of your competitors, uh, uh, competitors uh, show up here. And you click on hit this, um, you'll be able to see and access right away the content of your competitor. Why do we build this way? The, the, the reason why we build this way is so that you could, from any given point of your research process, you could actually play around with this. You can edit, build an outline, for example, uh, plant-based diet, and the AI assistant will appear here. So it's become like a filter, right? You click generate, and it's right away open up for you all of the content that you need before have your if you're trying to that, it's easy and it's affordable it's great for your health if you're on low carb keto it's problems is an ideal addition to your student that keep track of calories and rich reduce stress improve your health through healthier living with plan diet that's by per month easy super easy and from there you just simply click uh it add it into outlines whatever ideas that you like so one move to the other move to the other uh, we have updated also this uh, where we know that in three panel views, you won't be able to access the competitive analysis. So simply click on this button and you'll be able to see the list of the top 20 competitors directly from this panel. So you don't have to go anywhere, right? Um, remember, if you want a smaller screens and you would like to see everything uh, of, so that you can build outline, you need more room to build your outlines, just click on this little button on the top right corner. And there it is, you have more room an extra, I think about 200 pixels to, to build your outlines. Um, again, access from here, uh, filter through here, through the AI assistant and get it done in here. Any given moment, you can click on create new and it'll go back to your playground, choose templates. You can choose different templates, click on history to access what, uh, you know, what you have in the past, um, and explore, explore all of these templates. We'll continue to add more templates as we go. Uh, as we develop more but at the moment we we are at 60 plus templates already so we have we aiming to um, to get it to maybe 100 150 and that would be where you have a huge possibility that in your hand in order for you to create the best outline possible uh, at the fastest time and it's it's so effective um all right so i think uh that that was it for our ai features add-on uh well particularly for the step ones um, it's it's so it's so much right so that's why we have to break down to two uh, videos and um, the next videos is where I will go tutorial the tutorial videos of, of our integration with AI system in the step three right this one is to help you build the outlines step three is help you to expand uh, whatever you have built here into a full-fledged content and how you can utilize the tool to support your own writing to finalize a piece of content in no time. All right, so thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next videos.